Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. Today we're going to spend just a few seconds looking at HR Ping version 5 and a very specific data option, dash lowercase l, which is a size sweep. So if you just download HR Ping version 5, that's at cfos.de. It's just come out recently, so if you don't have it, go get it. And you'll notice that when you type HR Ping enter, it will have all the options available. And this is the one we're going to deal with. So there are two sweep options, dash lowercase l, which we're doing, and dash uppercase l, which we're not doing. The uppercase l is the IP datagram size, or the payload, and dash lowercase l is the size. So we're going to be doing that one. So we're going to minimize this guy. Next thing I want to do is see what's going on at the packet level, just to make sure everything's kosher and cool. So we've got the capture option screen up. I've got a capture filter for ICMP, and I'm going to hit the start button, and off it goes. Obviously, we don't see anything yet because I'm not pinging. So here's my ping, HR ping. Here's the IP, 172.16.24.1, and then dash lowercase l, and now we've got our sweep. So the first one is the starting range. So it's 128 bytes is our first packet colon the maximum size which in my case is 1024 and lastly is the interval or the step to increase it by which is 128 I know there's eight packets if I do the math here so I'm gonna do a dash n8 to send eight pings if I don't then I just get the default four number uh, four pings and it doesn't really work out well so off we go enter and I can see the ping and I can see the bing so everybody's happy. And you can see here, uh, the ping size went 156, 284, 412, and 540. And after that, uh, not so much. So we know in this case, to get to this device, uh, we've got a packet limitation or an MTU limitation to get from one to the other. From there, we can also do something else which is the, uh, I'll even type this one manually, HR ping 172.16. Uh, we'll do the same one, 24.1. And there's a dash capital M, which is a really interesting little feature, and that sends a time stamp. So what it does, it gives me the round trip time as it normally does, but it breaks it down into the transmit and the receive time using ICMP's time stamp feature. So that is incredibly useful to find out how well things are moving from point A to point B. And then you can lastly combine the dash M with the dash L for the size. Unfortunately, you cannot do the sweep. So that doesn't seem to uh, correlate. So just so you know. That's it. Hope that helps you. Have a good day. Bye for now.